Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I want to do a little bit of DC fan casting. Now, this isn't something that I've seen on the internet or whatever. It was just something that I thought to myself when watching the Wednesday show, the Wednesday Adam show on Netflix. I thought that Christina, I think it's Richie. I've always said Christina Ricci. I think she would be a really interesting Poison Ivy. I think she'd do a really good job as Poison Ivy. Obviously, a few things kind of sparked that. Like her character in Wednesday has red hair and has a thing with plants. So I was like, oh man, when I watched that character, I'm like, oh, I could definitely see uh, Pamela Isley in that character, but I could also see... Uh, Poison Ivy as well in certain aspects. Obviously, you know, not getting any spoilers or anything. I'm not even going to say like, oh, I'm the first person who's ever thought that or anything, but it's just like specifically seeing her on Wednesday made that really click in my head. I don't do a lot of fan casting, you know. Uh, when someone makes a suggestion, I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's as far as like fan casting kind of goes for me. I never really kind of throw out any names myself, but this was just one of those instances where just seeing her in Wednesday made me go like, yeah, I think she'd do a really good job. Obviously, if you've seen her in Yellow Jackets, I mean, she's played uh, bad guys before, but it, specifically if you've seen Yellow Jackets, her as Misty, she's so good in that show. I mean, everyone in that cast is phenomenal regardless. It's a, I cannot praise the show and its cast enough because everyone in that show is killing it. But that show shows you like, is one of the those things that shows you just like she can really do evil but she can do like twisted evil too which doesn't necessarily have to be poison ivy it just depends on like which direction you want to go with it obviously the question then becomes like well what is like you know obviously what is james gunn and peter saffron's like plans for dc obviously we know some stuff but not everything at, at you know at this point in time so you know because that would dictate a lot of stuff like because i think i could definitely see her being like poison ivy in like um, if they decided to go down the Poison Ivy route in like the Batman, especially because those movies are kind of more ground, well not kind of, they're definitely more grounded, but I feel like, yes, even with her more science fictional abilities with just, you know, the plant thing and everything, I think especially in that universe, if you wanted to dial up kind of the darkness of that character even more so, like adding a little bit of that Misty from Yellow Jacket spice to Poison Ivy would be an interesting thing. Like you take, like I say, you take her character from Wednesday as Pamela Isley and then like a little bit of Misty mixed in with that to get Poison Ivy thing would be interesting. I think that'd be a really interesting dark take. I mean, because especially even if we want to keep it a bit more grounded and even if you want to go about it, like, you know, you know, even with the science fictional angle of it, at the heart of it, what is poison ivy if not basically an eco-terrorist so but if you didn't want to go down the batman route and maybe they just want to straight up you know whatever the dcu canonical batman's going to be for the mainline story um they maybe they could introduce the character there because because once again depending on how the whole uh suicide squad situation plays out um i would actually really if, if given the opportunity i'd really like to see her and margot robbie's uh Harley Quinn, you know, kind of like get paired up. Because I know Kathy Yen, uh, the uh, director for uh, Birds of Prey and a Fantabulous Emancipation to one Harley Quinn, had said like some time ago that she wanted to do Poison Ivy in a movie. And obviously Harley and Poison Ivy have their relationship. So you'd probably eventually build to that in a movie. Obviously it's been a thing in the comics for a while. And obviously the uh, animated Harley Quinn series has really leaned into that relationship. They set it up back in season two of the series. And obviously this most recent season, season three, they really explored it. So having that opportunity to do that live action would be pretty dope too. I mean, movie wise, we also haven't had a, a Poison Ivy since... Uma Thurman, I believe. Uh, obviously, on the TV show front, we've had a uh, few uh, Poison Ivies. Like, even in Gotham alone, there was at least three different actresses who played uh, Poison Ivy, if I remember correctly. And then most recently, she was in the third and sadly final season of Batman. Obviously, I'm just saying all this. At the end of the day, Christina uh, Ritchie may have, like, zero interest in superhero movies. And that's fine, because I know just some actors, it just doesn't pique their interest. So, But I, I just thought to myself, I was like, oh, I, I couldn't shake that from my head. That she'd make a pretty dope Poison Ivy. These are just my thoughts. I'd love to get to know yours in the comments down below. Do you think Christina Ritchie would be a good Poison Ivy? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who are some actors that are on your list to potentially play a live action uh, Poison Ivy in the movie? Just let me know all your thoughts. Really, that's all I want to talk about. So the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.